Hey guys, it's Kat Kerr, and today we're going to be playing with clear craft plastic and computer graphics to create this beautiful bracelet inspired by Black History Month. Now, Black History Month has a different meaning for each individual, but for me, this bracelet was inspired by the words of Maya Angelou. Won't it be wonderful when Black history and Native American history and Jewish history and all of the U.S. history is taught from one book, Just U.S. History. The words Just U.S. History always hit home because we're all in this together, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Now I created this bracelet by first creating the individual components. The brass piece in which I stamped Just U.S. History was created by just stamping metal letters onto a piece of brass. If you want to see the full tutorial on that, check the link below. The other components were created by using clear craft plastic and computer graphics film. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a large version of those small components because they're a little hard to see, and I thought it would be easier for you to see it in a large version. I started with a piece of 12 by 12 clear craft plastic. It comes with a protective film on both sides, but I'm leaving it on so that you can see it because otherwise it's crystal clear and you're not going to be able to see it. Now I just cut out a rectangle to represent the small piece on the bracelet. I trimmed the corners and rounded them off. Now for the small components, I took a hole punch and I added a hole on each corner of the rectangle. But here I'm just adding a black dot so that you can see them. As far as the dimensions of the components, I simply cut them the same width as the brass plate. Next, I printed up an image of Maya onto the clear computer graphics film. I used the craft plastic as a template to know where to cut the image. This computer graphics film comes with adhesive, so I just peeled it off of the backing, placed it onto the clear craft plastic, and trimmed it. Now it's time to add some resin. Mix up two equal parts of Amazing Clear Cast. Mix it for about two minutes and then let it rest for about an additional five minutes. The reason I let it sit for a few minutes was because I wanted to um, remove the bubbles that had developed during mixing and it's also a lot easier to apply resin to a flat surface if the resin is starting to cure. So I added some resin to this component by um, adding some resin to the center of the component and then spreading it outward with the popsicle stick. If you work slowly, you should be able to get that resin right up to the edge. I have wax paper on my surface just in case any spills over. Once I had resin on the entire piece, I sprinkled on some gold glitter just to complement the brass focal. After the resin cured, I used a small drill to drill those holes again in the components, one on each corner. Here are all of my components ready for me to assemble. I ended up having a little bit of resin left over, so I filled a bezel and added some glitter. The only thing left to do was to add the jump rings and assemble the bracelet. But once the bracelet was complete, I realized it needed some color. So I created these little dangles with an eye hook and some beads to hang from the bracelet. What I love about this bracelet is how all the different materials balance and complement each other.
For more ideas using clear craft plastic and computer graphics film, visit graphicsarts.com. And for even more video tutorials using the graphics line, be sure to visit me at catcur.com and check out that YouTube playlist. For the complete list of materials used in this video, see the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click that bell notification button to catch my new videos. Thanks for watching.